My name is Nita Martin. I'm a sales representative with Gartner. Here for our 4:30 appointment. Sure. May I take a seat? Yes. Thank you. I'd also like to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to meet with me. I'd like to give you one of my business cards. It has all my contact information, so that if you have any questions after today's meeting, you can go ahead and get a hold of me. Okay. I also saw on LinkedIn that you have 13 years of IT experience. With all that experience, tell me, what do you know about Gartner? I've uh, definitely run into Gartner before, so I definitely heard of them. Great. So let me just tell you a little bit more about us. Gartner is currently assisting three fourths of the Fortune 1000 and Fortune 500 companies with every step of their planning, implementing, and managing their technology initiatives. And today, I'm so excited to show you how Gartner can help bring cost-effective technologies that your employees can really get behind to pay the mercy. And I'd really like to do that because I believe that we can be a great asset to yourself and your entire company. And now that you know a little bit more about Gartner, I'd like to know more about you. 13 years in the IT industry is a long time. What keeps you motivated? Um, just having a job. Mm -hmm. Well, that's definitely a reason, and I respect you for being super honest <laughs> about knowing that. But I do want to be very respectful of your time, and I do know that your admin and I scheduled this meeting for 20 minutes. Does that still work with your schedule? Yes. Great. So what I'd like to do today is first review the information that I got yesterday from Bob. I'd like to know more about you, your role, and take a deeper dive into uh, how IT functions here within Faith and Mercy. I'd really like to do that so I can show you the benefit that Gartner can bring to Faith and Mercy when it comes to increasing your ROI. If it makes sense to talk next steps, we can do that as well. How does that sound? Sounds good. Would you mind if I use your desk space and took some notes? Sure. Thank you. So yesterday when I was talking to Bob, I really found two main points that I took away from the meeting. Mm -hmm. First, um, I learned that six years ago you guys implemented a new EMR system and your current medical staff is quite unhappy with it and so because of that you guys are currently looking into vendors to implement a new EMR system. And secondly, I learned that a new, CIA, new CEO is really um, interested in cutting costs specifically within IT. Right. Does that all make sense? Does that, is it all correct? Yeah. Great. And so I know a lot of my clients say that when they're considering a strategic partner like Gartner, that they're looking for someone who can give them unbiased, reliable, trustworthy information. When you're looking into a strategic partner, what criteria, what criteria do you consider? Well, let's see what you have to offer. I'm looking to see if you have value to provide. Well, we can absolutely provide you with value. And just to give you a little bit um, bigger picture about Gartner, Gartner is 100% unbiased. And we're unbiased because our analysts don't invest in the technologies that they cover. And Gartner specifically doesn't sell any technology. In addition to that, all of our research is thoroughly vetted through peer revisions so that you can have a peace of mind, again, that we are 100% unbiased. So that's just a little more information specifically about Gartner. Okay. So in my discussion yesterday with Bob, it's my understanding that you are the main decision maker within IT. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And so what are your responsibilities as the CIO? My responsibilities as the CIO? There's a lot of responsibilities that I'm tasked with. So talk to me about your day-to-day. -day. My day-to-day, -day, I mean, it consists of a lot. Um, I would say right now, it's the priorities that you had mentioned. All we right. definitely wants us to reduce our cost by 10%, and we need to improve patient satisfaction scores as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did, is it safe to say that the goals that Bob mentioned to me yes, yeah, um, yesterday are also aligned with the goals that you have for the IT department? It is safe to say. Uh, something else too, I'm really not that fond of Bob, so I have to actually find someone to replace Bob. So he doesn't, okay. he doesn't know yet, but he'll be departuring here soon. Okay. Yep. Thank you for sharing that with yep. me. And so um, I guess I really heard everything from Bob's perspective, but I would really like to hear it from your perspective. So let's start with reducing cost by 10%. Mm -hmm. What is your process going to look like for doing that? So Willie is tasking me to do that. Um, right now I've just been reviewing vendor contracts and overall IT costs manually. Um, I attended him not too long ago. I wasn't able to nail down any specific numbers or approaches for this. Mm -hmm. I am going to actually attend an event next week. Um, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I usually get maybe two to three ideas from there. Now, how long does it take you to really review these contracts and look at your budget? Um, it's been taking me some time, but I won't have a number for you. No worries.
And so, um, again, so the number that you'd like to cut costs by is about 10%, is that correct? That's what Willie's asking me to do. Okay. And how is really having to attend this event and then having to cut these costs and spending a lot of time doing that really impacting your role as it's, a CIO? It's me attending these events. It, I mean, I don't mind the events. I, I like it because I get some value out of it. It's mm -hmm. just, um, I mean, you can imagine my frustration. We have to decrease our budget while we have to Im improve patient satisfaction. I can definitely understand your frustration there. Mm -hmm. So that if I could show you a tool that could really cut that time down and really show you specifically where you can cut costs within your IT budget, would you be interested in learning more? Yeah. And how would having this tool really impact your role? Uh, we'll see. I mean, if it aligns with what Willie wants me to do. Absolutely. So then the second thing that Ma mentioned to me yesterday was really um, looking at new vendors for that new EMR system. Mm -hmm. So what's your process in looking at those new vendors? So that's where it comes in for improving patient satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, right now, as you had mentioned before, but I mean, the communications with the healthcare personnel is just really poor. So either looking to improve the innovations that we have or just find something else improve or find something else. So you've kind of mentioned to me two things here. First off, communication, and then either improving or finding something else. Well, it's because the communication is lacking with the system, so I don't know the strategy yet. We'll figure it out. Okay, so communication yeah. within the system is lacking, not necessarily from yourself to another peer. Right. Gotcha. And now, how is having that communication um, really lacking, impacting yourself in your role? In my role? Or just like the company as a whole? I mean, the, the company as a whole, is, it can cost lives, and of course it can also result in a huge lawsuit. Are there any other goals or um, problems or anything that I need to know to understand your current situation? All right, so just to summarize everything that I've gathered here today, okay. you guys are looking to reduce costs by 10%, and you're currently in charge of doing that, so you're attending an events, but um, you are just really charged with doing that because Willie's asking you to do that. Yeah. And then on top of that, you're also looking to improve customer satisfaction. And right now, your communications, the communica communication between your different technologies aren't really talking very well, and so that's costing you lives. And so you're really looking to either um, fix that or implement something now. Yeah, it could potentially cost lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I, again, I could show you a solution that could help you identify where you guys could reduce those costs, and I could help you identify a way to select a, maybe a new vendor to maybe potentially not cost lives. Would you be interested in learning more? Yeah. Fantastic. So. So I have a presentation for you today. So the solution I would like to share with you today is called Gartner for CIOs. And I really love this solution, specifically for Faith and Mercy, because I believe it can help you get your two most valuable assets back, your people and your money. Our research tools are going to help you save time as well as your employees, while also enabling the most effective decision making. Our cost optimization tools are going to help you optimally allocate those financial resources. And lastly, our executive partner is a trusted mentor that's going to help you both dev develop personally and professionally. How can I become one of those executive partners? So um, if you would want to become, so what I'm hearing you say is that you are interested in learning more about how to become an executive partner? Yes. Okay. So how you could become an executive partner is essentially that you would need to leave your current organization and apply within Gartner, and you just have to have about a minimum of five years of experience specifically within a certain industry uh, and as a CIO. So if you have those five years of experience, um, you can go ahead and apply. But again, all the ad information is really going to be online on Gartner's website. And we have applications up all the time. So I'd really encourage you to go look at that. Okay. Does that address your concern or answer that question for yes. you? Yes. Great. So the first thing you mentioned to me was really wanting to cut costs by 10%. So let's talk about our cost optimization That's tools. That's what Willie's tasked me with. Yeah. So um, Willie's tasked you with this, and so I'm going to be able to provide you with a tool that's going to help you do that. Okay. And that's going to be our IT comparison tool. So our IT budget comparison tool is the world's largest database of comparative IT metrics and benchmarking. It's going to enable you to perform an objective analysis on your specific IT costs compared to those best in the industry. So let's look what that would, let's see what that would look like. You're going to first take a 20-minute self-assessment, and then Gartner's going to generate a custom report. That report is going to look something like this. For this example, it's just a hypothetical. 
But if we look here, in 2017 at your IT budget, it, if we look at outsourcing third-party IT resources, you were spending about 24%. If we look at your 2018 budget, you were spending about 27%. But this is for my budget? Again, this is just a hypothetical. Okay. So um, I don't have access to your current budget, but then you would again fill out that self-assessment and you would see a report just like this. Okay. So again, 24% in 2017, 27% in 2018, and again, but the best in the industry is only spending 16%. This is for healthcare. Um, so this specific budget isn't going to be for healthcare, but most budgets look the same. Okay. And so um, this again is just a hypothetical, but just to let you know, we do have 14 analysts specifically within Gartner that are going to be working with healthcare, and so that you'll have access to those analysts. Okay. Does that address your concern? Mm -hmm. Great. So not only are you guys hypothetically spending more from year to year, 24% to 27%, but you guys are also spending 11% more than the best in the industry. So we have shown you how to objectively identify how you guys, where you guys are currently overspending within your IT budget. Not only have we helped you identify where you guys are overspending, but our clients say that they can save up to 43% by using our benchmarking tools. So let's see what that would look like for you. So on my previous meeting um, showed me that at minimum your IT budget was about about 22.5 million. Mm -hmm. So let's think conservatively here is for a second. Is that what Bob said? Yes. Okay, so that number is a little bit off. Um, would be would be safe to say at minimum this is, or would you? Is there another number that I can go ahead and work with? Y you can use that number. Okay. All right. I just you wanted to it. make just sure. Let you know that that's why Bob's you know, leaving with with us. It's actually 19 million, but let's let's see what it is with us. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry about this communication. That's but, okay. Okay. That's why I mean that's why I was leaving. So. <laughs> well, um, again, so mm -hmm. so let's say it was two point five million. And let's say that I couldn't save you forty three percent of that. Let's say that I can only save you twenty percent of that. That's half. And again, we're thinking conservatively here. If I can still save you half of that, that's still four um, million five hundred thousand dollars that I'm going to be saving you by using our IT budget tool. What do you mean by saving me? So like we just walked through, within our cost optimization tools, we're going to allow you to identify places on where you're overspending and where you're underspending and so that you can really cut those costs. So like we mentioned here, you guys are spending 11% more than the best in the industry. So if these are the best in the industry and they're only spending 16%, maybe you guys would like to cut some costs in there. So just allowing you to specifically identify where you can cut costs in your organization by benchmarking against the best in the industry. Okay, that's interesting. I, I just thought our budget was a little bit lower. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Would you, um, again, so I guess like this is a little high, but at the end of the day, we could still save you a couple million dollars, even with that number being 19 million. Does, because at the end of the day, it's still the same ratio of 20%. Thank you for explaining it. Yeah. Does that al alleviate your concern? It wasn't a concern. I just wanted clarity in it. Thank you. I got you. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, can you, do you have any questions about our IT budget tool? No. Any more questions? Mm -hmm. And do you see the value in having access to our IT budget tool, especially when it comes to reducing those costs specifically for Willie? I can, I can see some value. Fantastic. So you also mentioned to me wanting to review vendor contracts and you're looking at, um, so we're also going to talk about our cost optimization tools and we're going to specifically talk about our contract review services. Okay. So within our contract review services, you're going to be able to send over a contract and so if you wanted to review contracts or if it's time to renew a contract, you're going to be able to send over those contracts to our IT analysts who are going to be able to review those contracts for you because they review thousands of contracts every single year. Give me one second. So, and the benefit of having access to having our IT analysts review those contracts for you is that we see companies live and, buy by, live and die by the IT decisions they make. And so we want to make sure that you're the utmost comfortable. So again, what would that look like for you? Well, we see that the average technology contract ranges between about $200,000 and a million dollars. We also see that we can save between 15 to 20% on three out of the four contracts we review. If you break that down, that's about 10% on each contract we review. So let's say that this new technology initiative was going to cost you about $200,000. If we can save you 10% of that, that's $20,000 per year on that contract. So let's keep track of ROI. We first saw with our IT budget tool that we could save you about $4.5 million. Then with our contract review services, we saw that we could save you 20 million dollars. Do 
you see how having access to our contract review services and having access to our IT analysts to review those contracts for you could also be another cost savings within your organization? Potentially. And can you see yourself really using this in the future? Potentially. <laughs> all right. So we all, you also mentioned to me about identifying some vendors for that new EMR system. So we're going to go to our Gartner methodologies. So we're going to start with the Gartner Magic Quadrant. So our Magic Quadrant is going to give you a snapshot of the market and where specific vendors specifically fall within that market so that you can prior prioritize a list of vendors that are going to work best for you. We're going to help you prioritize that list based on two axes. The first one is going to be the ability to execute, which I like to look at as market share or as financial stability. Then we have completeness of vision, which I like to look at as market share. So let's say that you are looking for a company that has proven financials, that has great market share, and has been in the industry for a long time, so it knows what it's talking about. I'm going to recommend that you look at the leaders. But there are one, two, three, four, five leaders within this quadrant. So how are you to specifically identify which one is going to be best for your business? Well, our critical capabilities is going to help you do that. I like to think of our critical capabilities kind of like Match.com or eHarmony. So it allows you to perform, um, to pick a specific wish list on what you're looking for in a vendor. So you're going to be able to weigh performance characteristics based on what matters to you and your organization. Once you weigh those performance characteristics, you are then going to have, um, Gartner is then going to generate a ranking based on those vendors so that you can go ahead and prioritize and pick the one that's best for your specific organization. Did all of that make sense? Yes. And can you see value in having access to our Gartner methodologies to helping you pick and identify that specific vendor? Potentially, yeah. Fantastic. So now let's talk ROI within our critical capability, within our methodologies. So our clients say that when they use our research and our methodologies, that they can save 38% of their time compared to their peers on the exact same research. We also saw that the, an average IT professional makes about $100,000 a year. So if you go ahead and do the math on that, that's about $38,000 in savings. So let's add that to our ROI sheet. All right, oops, that's not really annoying. All right, do you, again, do you see how having access to our Gartner research can be beneficial to you in your role? Potentially. Fantastic. So let's talk about what your investment would look like. Gartner for CIOs is a three-year subscription, starting at $50,000 and then increasing about the rate of inflation. Okay. Yeah, so for pricing, mm -hmm. Willie's asking us to decrease revenue by 10%, so we can't invest in anything because we're trying to decrease. So what I'm hearing you say is that you think this investment is not going to work because you're, will you're supposed to be cutting costs instead of increasing them. Is that correct? Yes. Well, let's go into what you're getting for this price, and we'll, we'll wrap back around to that. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. So for this $50,000, you're first getting access to our Gartner research, which is actionable, unbiased, trustworthy information so that you can make informed decisions. And like we just talked about, that's going to save you $38,000. Mm -hmm. Next, you're going to have access to the, these cost optimization tools, which is going to identify those hard dollar savings within your organization. And when we go in ahead and did that math, that's about $4.5 million that we're saving you right there. And you told me that Willie is asking you to identify those costs. This is a tool that can help you do just that. We also talked about our contract review services, which can save you about 20000 And again, these were all very conservative numbers. We weren't even talking at the height of what our tools could do. These were all very conservative numbers. And lastly, you have access to our executive partner, which I was unable to speak on today. But um, it will give you access to uh, um, get advice from someone who has been in your seat before, who has an average of 15 years in the industry, so that you have someone to bounce ideas off of, just to give you that peace of mind at the end of the day. So. Let's add up how much money Gartner is going to be saving you. So if you have $4.5 million, and so this is going to add up to about $4,558,000. Like I mentioned before, Gartner for CIOs is only $50,000. So if we go ahead and subtract that, you guys are still saving $4,508,000. Gartner is paying for itself. As a matter of fact, Gartner pays for itself Nine time, 90 times over. We're paying for ourselves every four days. So yes, you're correct that um, Willie's looking for you to cut costs by 10%, but at the end of the day, you guys are still cutting costs and Gartner is paying for itself. At the end of the day, you guys are saving millions of dollars by using our tools. So with all that in mind, how would you like to sign on with Gartner?
So I'm looking, if, can you go back to the screen? Sure, which, which screen would you think? The see? last one? So it looks like it's a multi-year agreement. Mm -hmm. This is something that we don't do. Yeah. So Gartner, yes, you're correct. Gartner is a three-year agreement. Mm -hmm. And so Gartner is a three-year agree agreement because we're not a Band-Aid. We're not a quick fix solution. We're in it for the long haul with you. We want to invest in you for three years because we want to help you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want your business card back? Uh, um, if you want to keep it, you can, or I can take it back. It's up to you. <laughs> I have an entire box. <laughs> All right, girl. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. I appreciate it. I'm surprised it holds that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't fit all the way. It takes out. For